The fastest thing in the air W-K-I-X Channel 85 Okay, here we have a very nice TV. This is a Panasonic. Uh, it's 36 inches. I'll tell you the model number. Let's see here. CT36HX41E. Now this is probably about the best TV that you can get that's not a Sony Trinitron XBR of the same size. Um, I know Sony made an XBR Trinitron 40 inch set and God I can't imagine how heavy that thing must be. This is a 36 or so, I think it's 30 sets, 30, a little over 36, I don't know, it's around 36 inches, okay? I'm not, a, I'm, I, I don't, I don't know. I just, I don't know. Leave me alone. I think this is a 36 inch Panasonic. Now this is a very nice TV. It's very heavy as well. This is a, it's full HD 1080i. Uh, somehow I've damaged this uh, door to where it won't open, which is unfortunate. It's just jammed or something. I can probably get it unjammed if I don't break it, which I will not do. Now, this thing, you, you might not understand exactly how huge this thing is. This is a very large TV, and 36 inches is about as large of a CRT as you can get. And I think Sony made a 40 or 41 inch uh, XBR Trinitron, but I'm not sure about that. I'm not exactly sure how heavy this thing is, but I can tell you it's heavy as shit. Uh, Sony Trinitron XBR of the same size, here goes the camera again, same size Sony Trinitron is, I think it was 210 pounds, I can't imagine this is much less, so, <laughs> anyway, um, I don't really have anywhere to use this set, I wish I did, uh, I, I, if it were me, it would be right there. And this stupid piece of shit here would go in the trash. I wouldn't even... Well, no, it would be a Destruction Fun episode. It doesn't deserve to go in the trash where somebody might save it. Anyway, uh, I don't think my mother would really appreciate that, though. But yeah, it would go right there. Maybe not on that thing. Uh, I don't know, but... Yeah, a very nice set to use in your living room. Uh, this thing still has a really nice, bright, sharp uh, picture on it. I don't think it has many hours. And of course, being an old TV like this, you, you get more inputs. Let's look at this piece of crap first. Just Here's what you get on a new TV. This TV is a couple months old. You get two, see that, two HDMIs, a USB, I don't even know what you would use that for, and an antenna connection. So, oh, the USB is for uh, updating the software. So the only inputs you get are two HDMIs and an antenna. So you could hook like two Roku's and an antenna up to it. But there's nothing else on it. On these TVs, the old ones, and somehow the new ones are better, we have three coax ports. I don't, one of them's antenna in. Antenna 1 and 2. Oh yes, I remember reading about this. So, if you wanted to hook an antenna up, you could hook an antenna up to 1, and then you could switch over to the second coax port and use like a VCR or something on there. Third one's out, so if you want to go back out and connect it to another TV or something like that. Right here we have a connection for a subwoofer. This TV has a built-in amplifier. It will power a subwoofer. And then here, we have two component inputs. That's the, uh, what is it, YPBPR inputs. Uh, they use the red, green, and blue. There's two of them. One of them is currently occupied. 
and those are what you would use as your uh, high definition 1080 inputs and there's two of them once again then we have two S video inputs and then we have four composite or three composite inputs and then one of these is a composite output so you could once again output to another TV or monitor and then on the front underneath this little door which I can't open up right now we have another S video and another composite input so you're definitely not lacking on inputs and outputs on this thing you can definitely hook up whatever the hell you want to to this TV whereas this thing you can't I think somewhere on it it has a little thing that looks like a headphone jack that might not even have been this one no it does not we used to have a Sony and uh, it had a little thing you could hook a headphone jack up to it looked like a headphone jack and what it did was you'd have to buy from Sony and it was like 50 bucks a dongle and you could e you could only use one of them and it would either go to composite or component so if you wanted to hook up anything other than HDMI you could hook up one other device and you had to buy it this TV has as many damn inputs as you want and you know what oh there's no HDMI there's no HDMI let me show you something alright and I, I've shown you guys this a hundred times the fact of not having HDMI on old TVs is a non why are you sitting so far forward are you moving yourself now or did I move you and forget about it let's hope it's the second one anyway you can buy this guy this is an HDMI to AV so if you have a TV with a uh, composite output like an older one like this you could use that and of course you could use that with that as well you won't get HDMI or, or HDMI you won't get high definition but you can hook an HDMI device like a fire stick or anything up to it or if you look and I got that at Walmart it's like seven dollars get down from there we do not play with TVs. You can also get an H HDMI to component, which is, you know, the five wires like this. And they will connect and you can get your full high definition on this TV, no problem. And that's like $15 you can get one on eBay. Okay, great deal. So, not having HDMI is not really a problem on these. I can even hook up the really old ones to an HDMI device if I want to. I just need a matching transformer and an RF modulator, and I can connect it. Anyway, remote, we'll go ahead and turn this set on, and I'll show the other really nice thing about it in a second. Okay, and the camera's blurring. So, first of all, you can't see, and this is just a splash screen, how clear and crisp and bright this image really is it's bright but it's not like hazy or get out of the way but here's the other thing I wanted to show if you would go into the menu of the TV and go under picture here we can go into the aspect ratio because of course this is a 4x3 picture or yeah it's a 4x3 CRT so we can set it like this which is your standard uh, 16 by 9 image of course you're not using up the full screen so obviously we can go to 4 by 3 and we can set it to take up the whole screen just like that so if your device here if you do the if the device you have it connected up to does not output a 4 by 3 picture you can simply uh, change it in the TV settings which is really nice I'm gonna go ahead and play a DVD here. I don't know, it's a Blu-ray disc. It's something my mother has laying around. Let's see here. Here we go. It's a Blu-ray disc. And I wish the camera could get how... If you're watching this on an LCD screen, which you probably are, you're not gonna be able to tell how good this looks because LCD screens do not look as good as CRT screens. Furthermore, this camera doesn't look that great either. But this TV has uh, a perfect, really, well, not perfect, no TV has a perfect black level, but a really good black level. It's really sharp.
See how the see how dark the black level is? You'll never get that black level out of an LCD screen. Never. I mean, this looks better than one of those. Ooh, this looks better better than one of those OLED TVs that you can buy today. As far as the black level brightness and color goes, the sharpness is almost as good, not quite, but almost. And the main reason the sharpness isn't quite as good is because convergence on larger CRTs is never perfect. But it's close, and it looks really, really good. You can't tell in per in the on the camera, really. Especially since it's going to keep blurring out part of it. And of course, being a CRT TV, it has great sound. You can hook up a subwoofer to it, but you really don't need it. Uh, I've... I've read the reviews on this TV, and uh, it was made in 2003, and some people say that sound on it is really tinny and kind of bad, and I can see that. I definitely can. When you're comparing it to something like a uh, Sony Vega, you know, Trinitron, uh, yeah, the sound isn't great, but compared to this, the shit, the complete garbage we have today, the sound is great. And I'll give you an, a sample of that, although if you're watching this on a modern TV or on a computer and you don't have any sort of good uh, speakers or whatever, you probably won't be able to tell if the microphone on this camera doesn't even blur that, or blur it up, uh, make it sound worse, which it probably will. Imagine that with the subwoofer hooked up. Okay, I'm not going to get, uh, I don't want to get drug in for copyright or any of that stuff, so I'm going to stop recording the movie before the movie comes on. I don't even know what the movie is. I don't really give a shit what the movie is. Why a blee, uh, a blee, a blee D player, a uh, why a Blu-ray player hooked up to it? Well, it was right here, and it's the easiest thing I have that has component on it. Um, I would normally just drag my fire stick out, but I don't have a HDMI to component adapter, and I wanted to get the full 1080 HD as opposed to just uh, 480 that we would get with that adapter. So, I could drag the cable box out here but that's kind of a pain in the ass. Anyway, that's this uh, Panasonic 36 inch high definition 1080i TV. This TV's from 2003, so it's probably, you know, 2003, this was a really, well it still is a really nice TV. Better than any shit you can buy today, but aside from a Sony, you know, the Trinitron uh, high definition sets, this is probably the best one of the best TVs you could get then and it still holds up really well I mean it looks just as good as a new one as far as the picture goes sound is better the inputs are better the only thing that sucks about this TV is how damn heavy it is cuz it is I would have to guess around 200 pounds anyway this has got to be one of the first uh, full 1080 high-definition TVs as well. Because 
<laughs> the thing is, this here is 1080, literally 1080. You, when, when around, well hell, even around 2009, 10, 11, most flat screen TVs, aside from the really, really, really expensive ones, were still 720. Some of them were only 480. And this one here, CRT, is, uh, is 1080. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.